Southern Virginia is in an area with unique small towns that are large enough to supply our needs, but small enough for us to know our neighbors. We have Clarksville, the only town adjacent to Bugs Island Lake, the largest body of water in Virginia. Nearby, we have Chase City, where the business, cultural, and social lifestyle is reflected in the Estes Center and beautiful mansions. Lunenburg, the mother of counties, from which so many others were carved, is a place of beautiful homes where people still take the time to take a break from their business activities and visit and catch up on the news at local restaurants, known far and wide for their traditional southern recipes. In the other direction, Lawrenceville sits in the heart of Brunswick County, known the world over as the home of Brunswick Stew, St. Paul's College, and the best bricks in the world. Then on our south is Warren County, which boasts Lake Gaston, one of the country's most desirable retirement areas, providing recreation, a great climate year-round, and a relaxed lifestyle. While each of our communities is unique, the common bond that we all share is our hospital. Community Memorial Health Center. I attended the dedication of this hospital. Uh, it was on a Sunday afternoon. I'll never forget. And uh, I was much, much, much younger then, but it's hard to realize how far you have gone unless you know where you started. And I feel like that, uh, that the hospital will continue to grow and uh, the way the dedicated workers have been in the past, and I feel like it will continue to move forward. The hospital is just huge. I mean, it is a driving factor of any community. We're just fortunate to have it in, in a town our size. We really are. We are, and, and I don't think any family can say that they've never needed a hospital and to have one this close I think is just truly a benefit and a blessing for our community because you never know when you might need it. In 1954 the citizens of Southern Virginia worked as volunteers to build what at that time was a state-of-the-art hospital. Our community is in an area where we believe in taking care of our own and our citizens gave generously to make our hospital a reality. Well, the auxiliary has been here as long as the hospital has been here. The hospital started in 1954. The auxiliary was started before the first brick or block was laid in 1954 on the new state-of-the-art hospital in South Hill. And we've been involved on every major campaign since then. Any place where we are asked to serve, we've come in. We have over 175 auxiliary volunteers that provide, should we say, neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor support. And with us going forward, we volunteer and support the hospital in just about any aspect you can think of. Today we are on the cusp of having Microsoft, one of the most high-tech companies in the world, begin operating a technology center in Boyden. As our needs have changed through the decades, our hospital has been renovated and updated many times, always for the purpose of providing our citizens with the highest quality health care possible. South Hill and, and the county would not be what it is without that hospital. You know, there's a lot of reasons. It takes care of our people. You know, when they're sick, we get them well. We, we stabilize them if we have to get them out of here if it's an emergency. So you, you have 900 employees over there. That's an important base in this community, but it takes 900 people to run that hospital. And so for all those reasons, for the, for the 900 employees, we know business, these businesses in this town need it, or South Hill wouldn't be what it is. People wouldn't live here if we didn't have that hospital. So it's, all, you know, it's one big package to us. To provide the service that our citizens want and deserve, community leaders have determined the need for a new surgical center and expansion of our radiology and laboratory services. With these upgrades, CMH can continue to provide the highest quality care and access to the most advanced technology. We're raising for a radiation oncology center and a new surgical tower and modernized lab and radiology departments. 
we have a high incidence and death rate from cancer in this community and uh, radiation therapy is one of the needed services in order to treat those. Uh, we have a need for new equipment in lab and radiology and the new technology today won't fit in our existing space. And our surgical services is the ORs that were built in 1954 and technology today has far exceeded what was designed in 1954 and we need to upgrade those significantly. In terms of surgical waiting, I like to talk with the family that's with that particular patient, okay? I've had situations where I had to carry that conversation in a hallway, okay? And the reason being is because the waiting room has quite a few people in there already. There's a little cubby hole that we can go into so we can recognize HIPAA privacy rules and all that. I really feel like all the services that we're talking about adding are needed, but I'm, I really uh, am a fervent supporter of the radiation oncology uh, services that will be provided by our, new, our next expansion. Um, having been through it myself uh, and having numerous patients who have to go through it, I really feel like it's a needed service for the area and I feel like it's going to benefit so many people. Um, everybody in this community has been touched by cancer at some point and uh, it, having to go through the treatment uh, is just uh, at times mind-boggling and uh, having this available in our community is just going to be uh, so wonderful uh, for the patients and for the people who are providing the services for them and especially for the families who are having to provide a lot of the transportation and uh, the care for these patients. These are opportunities to enroll patients on clinical trials that we might not otherwise be able to enroll. Um, and I think it opens up opportunities in other areas for the health systems. Soul community providers like Community Memorial Health Center function in a very special way. Um, they are the provider for their community and so they assume a very special role in addressing the needs of their community and making sure that whatever services are required are made accessible uh, as easily and as swiftly as is possible. And so as you look at the mission of CMH, this type of partnership I think enables them to better serve their mission in making sure that the people of that community have access to cancer care as close to their homes as is, as is achievable. Dad was diagnosed with uh, lung cancer and uh, that was in 03 and uh, from that point uh, he had to start treatment. That was back in November and December I guess. And every day we had to travel to Petersburg to uh, get them to provide the treatment for his recovery and um, we did 30 days of chemo first and then we followed it up with 30 days of radiation. Just as in 1954, we have always stepped up to the plate and provided the financial resources needed for a long list of improvements that have meant better health care for you and your family. We know that when we give to our hospital, it all comes back to us. As our community's largest employer, the hospital provides a financial boost to local business, small and large. Our hospital has been successful but now it's time for us to move from success to significance. All of this will be expensive. We realize that we are just now coming out of a recession and we know there are many worthwhile charities seeking your support. A member of our hospital's auxiliary told us recently that in 1954, people did not give to the hospital until it hurt. They gave until it felt good and they had achieved success. I could have bought myself a lot of fabulous things, but it would have benefited only myself. And by doing this, I'm helping a lot of people who are battling a devastating illness and hopefully making their battle a little bit easier. They're giving. They do all kinds of things throughout this area. And so you've got a facility that is really very, very critical to the success of the and the growth of South Hill. There's no question of that. And therefore, we've gotten to know a number of the people here, and it's just a really fine organization. And so, when this chance to do something, and we had looked at a number of different things, 
But this was one that I think we both thought, you know, this was one of those, like I said, uh, it was a, just the timing was right. We had the f ability to do it, and they have this plan to develop this radiation facility. And so this, this facility and this hospital, not just the building, but all the people that make it up, is really a, a, it's a gem. The need is there. And so the, uh, and the stronger the, the community supports the effort, I think the better and, the, and more likely it is to be successful. Your generous gift now will help pay for the kind of first-rate facilities, equipment, and health care services you deserve. These improvements can only come from charitable donations, not from operating revenue. But they can be paid over a five-year commitment period. In Southern Virginia, there's a tradition of caring. When there's a neighbor in need, there's only one question in mind. How can we help? Right now, you can help yourself get the best health care available. We have done it in the past, and we will do it again, because we know it all comes back to us. Technology changes by the month, probably by the day, and we really need to keep up with it. And to do that, we, we need uh, this new campaign to come through so we can put up uh, what, what we need for the future over there. If you can get the same type of treatment locally, um, you know, it makes sense to do it locally. You take some time, all the time that you can, and visit the area, and visit the hospital, and see firsthand what the need is and it won't take you long. We all feel like we're one family. We all work together as a team, and whenever the hospital needs anything, we're there and we will do the best we can. It all comes back to you. Whatever we give to the hospital is available for all of us in this area. It is something that is going to benefit this whole community. Um, and it's one of those things where I am delighted I can put the money in I hope I never have to use a dollar of it. People don't give money to causes, they give for personal reasons and things that have affected them. And I can't think of anything in our community that hasn't impacted more people than this institution. Uh, I can't think of any organization that has seen more suffering from cancer than we have. And I can't think of the number of people that have come through our doors that needed our surgical services or needed diagnostic testing to help them in a multitude of things. And so what I'm asking for is support for this community and for the people of the community. And it does come in the way of financial support and in many ways and other types of support as well.